Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be discussing a bunch of genius products that I think you guys should try out. Um, a lot of these products, well, pretty much all these products I use literally all the time and I literally can't live without them. Like I am obsessed. Um, they do a lot for me and some of these are new products that have recently come into my life saw Shay Whitley do this video. I love her channel so much. Always binging her videos. So I came across this video and I was like, this video is genius. I have a bunch of products myself that I should talk about. So here we are. Also, some of these items make great Christmas presents. So if you're looking to make, get a good Christmas present for someone in your life, you might want to think about a couple of these items because they're super, super useful, but at the same time, effective and needed. You may not even know you need some of these items until we talk about them. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I hope you guys are excited for today's video. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button before you leave. Throwback, give the video a thumbs up if you want to. Okay, let's jump right in. Also, shout out to Kinsey for sponsoring a portion of today's video. We are gonna jump right in talking about our number one product, which is the Kinsey IPL handset. This is an at home laser hair removal, but what's so cool about it is they now have additional attachments to it. So we're gonna be talking about the atta other attachments. You can use it for multiple things now. My cat's very excited about that. I'm very excited about that. But I'm gonna show you and tell you a little bit about that. Now they have the anti acne attachment, which looks like this. You just pop it on. They also also have the age spot and skin rejuvenation attachment which looks like this so as you guys know you plug it in it comes with a super long cord I want to show you guys how far away I really have this plugged in all the way across the room I just want to show you that so you can see how long the cord is you just turn it on by pressing the power button in the back it's the green button and you can hear it cranking up by pressing the power button you can crank it up one through five it gives you an instruction guidebook which shows you your skin tone and I recommend strongly if it's your first time using it to test a um, patch of skin before going in with it to test how it feels to test how it's going to react on your skin all that before you just go in and do like your whole leg or your whole armpit or your bikini area it goes through and it tells you all the instructions and the breakdown on everything right here in the manual that comes in your Kinsey box you're gonna get a box like this really nice it has all your stuff in it anyways I crank mine up pretty high just because I've been using it for a while so I notice more results I will tell you the more consistent you are with it the more results you're gonna see so I just I put it on the skin and press it and it gives a little pop now five I would say gives just a little bit of a pinch but one through four I honestly don't even feel so very easy to use and just to show you look how easy it is to add the other attachments literally set them on here and it's magnetic so it just pops right on and easy to take off so the acne attachment is really good for eliminating acne bacteria it also reduces acne reproduction it also minimizes the visual appearance of acne so the lens on it uses a specific wavelength to reach a layer of skin where the acne prone bacteria breeds so I recommend to use it one time a week and you can pop it three up to three times in the same treatment over the same area but only once a week you to see results within two to three treatments but you'll see more and more results with continuous use same thing with the hair removal attachment which is just the original one on here once a week you can go over the same areas about three times in one treatment after two to three weeks of using it consistently you should start to see some thinning of your hair and it's recommended to do it with your legs shaved and exfoliated with no lotions or moisturizers any creams on your legs just them bare and then you do it. In 12 weeks, you'll start to see a visible reduction of hair growth. Now let's talk about the H-Spot Skin Rejuvenation Attachment. This one is good for reducing the appearance of sunspots, H-Spots, hyperpigmentation. It helps to improve the skin color, the skin texture, and collagen growth. Pretty much the same. You can use it once a week, up to three times in the same treatment. You'll start to see results after two to three treatments, after two to three weeks per se. And you'll see more and more results the more you are consistent with it. So I'm really been enjoying this and now I'm obsessed because they have all the different heads and attachments if you guys want to check it out be sure and use my discount code it is Lee 50 and that will give you $50 off which is such an amazing deal I will also have all this information as well as the discount code and the link for the Kinsey and the attachments down in my description box right down below alrighty so that was product one of many I have a lot of other products we're gonna be going through I think I have a total of 11 products that was the one so let's move on to number two I'm just gonna go to, I have it all written down right here so I'm just gonna go down my list so the next one is my eye ring and it is this little device on the back of my phone and you got to get the name brand eye ring I've tried a couple different brands 
um, that make the loop and the problem is they're just not as nice and they don't work as good because the loop doesn't stay stiff. You need this to stay stiff because you can use it. You can hook this on something to hold your phone. And what I like it the very, 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 very most for is whenever I'm out and about or I'm at an event or I'm at a party or a game or something sociable where I have my phone out in my hand, I get to still use my hand and it's completely free because I always have my hand hooked like this, my phone hooked. My eye ring sticker has never broken off of the back of my phone. The best part is you can click this little piece of plastic right here and press down and the eye ring slides off. You have to press actually pretty hard down on it and you can pull off the eye ring. I never really take mine off, but you just won't understand how useful it is until you get it. It makes selfie taking so much easier because you're not having to balance your phone on your hand. You can just have it on this. So you can get the best selfies. And I get a lot of my video footage and selfies through using my eye ring. I pick these up on Amazon anytime I get a new phone case or anything like that. I always add an eye ring on the back because they're just, they're seriously a lifesaver. And if you start using them, it's almost like you can't stop. Eye ring makes the best ones. All right, let's keep the party moving with the makeup eraser. Okay, so again, this is another product I started using and whenever I started using it, I really can't not use it now. I feel like I still have makeup on my face and I feel like I still have cleanser like or makeup remover on my face. This truly gets everything off your face. So the way I do my makeup removal routine, if you will, is I put a bunch of makeup remover, which is a greasy product, anything that's like an oil or just will break down the makeup and I wet it a little bit and then with my hands, I massage that all over my face. I take one side of this and wipe all of that off. So then I got all the makeup off and then I'll take a cleanser. Sometimes it depends on my mood, but sometimes I'll put the cleanser on the makeup eraser and then scrub my face with it. Or sometimes I'll just rub the cleanser in my hands and then I'll take my makeup eraser. This will be wet and then I just wipe everything off. I'm telling you, I will not have like a drop of eye makeup on or anything. It just takes everything off. So for sure. And you can feel your skin. It's like squeaky clean. So now I like pretty much can't not use this. They also speed up the makeup removal process. I don't know if you can tell, but like I'm pretty much a full beat girl. So I have a lot of liners, a lot of mascara, a lot of powders and a lot of cream product on my face. So it is a bit to break down and this just makes the process 10 times easier. They have a dupe for this on Amazon that's like $12. I personally like the makeup eraser a little bit better because the material of the cloth seems to be a bit softer, um, especially on the face. So I will link both down below and let you guys try out whatever you wanna try out, but they both do a good job. I just like the makeup eraser ones a little bit better. Let's jump into number four on my list and it's sunscreen, sunscreen. I get asked more times than Ever. I talk about sunscreen a lot. Wear your sunscreen. Always protect your skin from the sun. So I just want to talk about my favorite one. It's by Elta MD. This one I believe was made by a dermatologist, but I like it because it doesn't break me out. It doesn't clog my pores and I'm able to wear it underneath my makeup without it breaking my makeup. I have it on today. I have it on every day. Again, I also don't have to add a moisturizer on because I'm able to use this as both. But they have the one that has a little bit of tint to it. I just want to show you guys. I tend to wear this one if I'm doing a day where I'm doing no makeup. So I'll go for this one. I'm not going to wear any makeup because it just gives like the tiny, I'm telling you, it's the smallest tint ever. Um, but like days like today I'm wearing makeup, I'll just use my original. Also, this does not leave a white cast. Like it literally rub in that big glob and it... It's just moisture. You just feel moisturized. It doesn't feel like a sunscreen and it doesn't give you that white cast, doesn't flash back. So I've never found one that, well, I'll tell you the Dermalogical one's really good too. So it's a little bit thicker, but it's really good. So these are my favorites. Um, check them out. I'll link them down below. But just if you make it a part of your everyday habit of like putting this on as like your morning moisturizer and not so much as like adding sunscreen, you can really protect years and years of damage off of your skin. I just put on sunscreen now. Start now. And if you wanna get crazy, anytime I have some left over on uh, my hands from rubbing it in my face, I'll just go ahead and hit it on the back of my hands like that. Let's move right on down the list. So a head scrubber. Now I have mentioned this one before. Sorry for repeating if you've heard this before, but I, I still use it like all the freaking time. Like I'm telling you, this is something I use every time I wash my hair. I feel like I have to use it. This you can find at some dollar stores. If not, you can get it off Amazon from between three to $4. So 
It's in a cheap gadget, super affordable. They have all kinds of different brands. These are rubbery, by the way. They are not hard plastic. They're super rubbery. So I can get really crazy with this. This is a head massage. For me, my routine, I only wash my hair twice a week. Around every three to four days, I wash my hair and it just stays healthier that way. However, because I don't wash it every day, I do get a buildup of product in my hair. I use a lot of hairspray, dry shampoo. I'll do like a slick down hairstyle sometime that requires mousses and hair wax and hair pomade. So I get a lot in here. And I feel like with shampooing, whenever I use this to scrub my scalp with a shampoo, I feel like it really breaks down the product in my hair. And the extra clean scalp, I also use it for, and I don't know how relatable this is gonna be for everyone, when I dye my roots. So I do my roots myself. I have a lot of gray hair. When I dye my roots, I have really dark brown hair dye like this far in my head. Like, so all over my scalp, I'll have this dark hair dye. And if you've ever tried to get hair dye like out of your scalp, it's quite the process. But the thing is, I have nails. So for a minute there, I was using gloves in the shower because the dye, if you're scrubbing it out, it will tint your nails. Like these lighter nails will be tinted the dark colors. Happened to me before, I was devastated. So I now. I don't even wear gloves in there. I just take this and put it in the water and just, it breaks up the hair dye and gets it out of my hair without me having to scrub my nails in it. So it protects my nails from the hair dye, but again, I don't know how many people are dealing with that situation. It may only be me. It's just like such a cheap little thing that I use nonstop, which I have another really cheap thing. I'll go ahead and mention it because this is another cheap thing that I got a wish actually. This is it. And let me tell you something. Every time I get my toothpaste, after I've used it like eight times, seven or eight times, it has a little bit of laxness in it, so I'll go ahead and load it up in this. It is shocking how much longer my toothpaste lasts in this. I feel like I'm being way less wasteful because I'm using literally every single drop of the product. I feel like every single time I don't have to start at the bottom and squeeze the toothpaste when it's starting to run out, I just give it a little crank and it's always ready to go. And you can use this. Toothpaste is my, I would say, one of my most used products in a tube. So that's why I always use mine for toothpaste. But like if you are using a moisturizer, a foot cream, a hand cream that's in a tube and you wanna use all of it. I'm pretty sure you can find these on Amazon. You don't have to order them off Wish because sometimes it takes forever to wish to ship stuff. I'll find some and link them. But I think I paid like a dollar for this and it's something I use literally like every single day. It's just like one of those products. These are the products that I genuinely, like all these products, I can't live without them. Definitely get one of these. Your products are gonna last you a lot longer. It's a very cheap investment. You're gonna be wasting a lot less products and you're gonna be spending a lot less time squeezing up product to get all the product out. All right, my next one's an interesting one. I can't remember if I mentioned this on my channel or not. I may have, but this is a sink cover and I found this through TikTok and it seemed a little bit too good to be true. So of course I ordered it off Amazon and it is just as good as it seems. I'm gonna insert B-roll of me using it so you can kind of see how it works. But they come in different colors. I of course got this light one because this one to be neutral. It maximizes your sink space if you don't have a lot of space or if you do have a lot of space and you want more sink space, get one of these bad boys. You just lay it right over your sink and I can't remember the weight it can hold, but it can hold like a crazy amount of weight of your products so you're able to spread your makeup out across it. It also has a space where you can clean your makeup brushes on it. It has some grooves here that are rough so it's great for cleaning your makeup brushes and then you can stick your makeup brushes in it for them to dry. I can't remember the degrees, I'll put it on the screen, but I can also like your hot tools to protect your sink and let's say you have a curling iron or straightener that's burning your sink top, you can actually put it on here and it won't melt. It can hold up to like almost 500 degrees, I think. So all your hot tools, you're gonna wanna put it on this and it also folds up so sleek. You can just pop it under the sink when you're not using it or it comes with a hook Whenever you order this, you can hang it on the wall or like hang it inside your cabinet. I will say it is a little bit heavy, so be careful where you're hanging it, but it's like a really sturdy product. Definitely worth the money. It's very innovative, and I haven't really heard this be talked about much. Again, I'm gonna show you overlay footage so you can kind of see it in action, because that's what sold me on it when I saw it in action. I was like, yes, 
I need this. And this, again, makes a good Christmas present. Um, next is this big makeup mirror. I'm going to show you it lit up because you do have to plug it in to light it up right here. It also has a USB outlet. But this is, like, one of the best makeup mirrors I've ever used. It's super fingerprinty. I use it every day. And it's a game changer in the makeup mirror. I'll put the brand of it. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it. The brand name's, like, right here. You can barely see it. But anyways, it is a double sight mirror. You can flip it around, and if you want the light on you or not, that's up to you. And then here it lights up. It has different settings as far as cool tone, a blend, or warm tone, or you can have it lit to a 10, a 50, or a 100. 100 being the brightest. It gets extremely bright. It has an extreme magnifying side, or you can simply flip it like that, and hello, there you are. And you get just the regular mirror side, so it's really nice in that way. And then it has attachments on it, so pretty cool stuff here. It has the cell phone attachment that, like that that's on it, so you can do have your phone up here while you're doing your makeup. However, the one thing is you can't flip it while the attachment's on, so you just need to set it to the side of the mirror you're going to be using and then put your phone on it. Um, and it also has, if you want to get real crazy, it has an additional, like, hold on, let me show you how this works. So this is a magnet, and it has this super, super, super magnifying small mirror. This is, like, so gross. I could have cleaned it before I showed you guys, but it has this super, super magnifying mirror um, on that side, so you can get really close in. That one's kind of dangerous. And um, I guess that since it's not clean, it just shows how much I love it. But it is the best mirror ever. It's super heavy, so you're gonna wanna kinda set it where you're gonna be using it, and it's not travel friendly. However, it's the best makeup mirror I've ever owned. And again, this would be perfect Christmas gift for a makeup beauty lover. Um, it does come with a super long cord to plug it in, and you just plug in the input there. But again, it has a USB cord too. So this mirror is just like, seriously, everything. The reason I found out about it is because I am like a Zoom Zoom thing with makeup by Mario that is Kim's makeup artist and he has his own makeup line so he was talking a bit about that stuff and then he goes have you guys tried this makeup mirror before and we we're like no and he's like I'm gonna have it sent to you and I was like wow that's so sweet but um you know it kind of just like a normal makeup mirror but then I got it in and I was like yeah now I can't live without this thanks a lot it's the best seriously the best makeup mirror ever super super luck let's move on so this is a little bit of a different category but it's just a friendly reminder that i want my girls and guys out there to have it is a pepper spray for your keychain and i know some schools and jobs you're not allowed to have pepper spray so i understand that but if you're going out you're gonna be out late at night you're alone a lot you're in parking lots a lot by yourself um this can really be a lifesaver. So I just wanted to mention it because i was like what products do i use the most and this isn't something i've ever had to use but it is something, as a friendly reminder, I swear my grandpa calls me like twice a year and he, the focus of the phone call is, do you have pepper spray? It can seriously save your life. If you are going to flip the switch and spray this at someone and you are in danger and you need to use it, make sure you're covering your own eyes and your own mouth and nose before you do it because whoever you're spraying, everybody's going to get it. Everybody's going to get pepper spray. It kind of goes everywhere. It goes into the air and... I think that's like a misconception people don't, or like, I think it's something people don't talk about with pepper spray, like the dangers of using it. You're going to want to run in the opposite direction as soon as you spray it, as well as have something covering your eyes, nose, and mouth while you're spraying it because it's going to go everywhere and it hurts. If you can have it on you, I know not everyone can, it can really save your life, period. Hey, this is something that my 30s just kicked in. I never knew when lighting candles why to trim the wicks on them. I'm gonna show you guys an example. However, I noticed when I bought my own home, I have a lot of white walls and white ceilings, I started to get concerned with the amount of black smoke coming off of my candles. And my friend Daniel Prado was like, cause you're not trimming your wicks, sweetie. And if you're gonna be lighting candles all the time or in a small space, you should not be lighting them unless the wick is trimmed down. So I got, my husband bought me a trim, a wick trimming candle kit. You do not have to have a kit to trim your wicks. You can have a pair of scissors, but trim your wicks before every light. And every time I blow out a candle, I make sure and put something on top of it so the smoke doesn't cover. The longer wick, it creates so much more black smoke, so much more. It can also create popping across the room if you've ever lit in a long wick and it pops and shoots across the room, it's a fire hazard. This little kit's from Amazon if you guys are interested in actually having a kit or again, just use your scissors or little eyelash scissors, whatever. 
This is a wig trimmer. It's perfect because you stick it down in the candle and clip it. This is great because you can snuff out a candle and leave it over if you want to prevent the black smoke. And then it comes with this little hook. If your wick gets bent or melted down in there, you can kind of pick up your wick. So it's just a kit. It's a cute gift for a candle lover, but if you're not interested in the kit, still trim your wicks. Number one rule, trim your wicks. Then I have two more items to talk about really quickly. Like me, these are gel X nails. If you like acrylics, gel X, press-ons, any type of fake nail, they actually hoard bacteria. And with our hands, we eat with it, we clean our face with it, we rub our eyes with our hands. They hoard bacteria all up in this, okay? Even when I worked in the medical field, we were strongly encouraged not to have acrylics on because of the amount of bacteria it hoards. So what I recommend for you is to go to your local Dollar Tree or on Amazon. I got mine in my Dollar Tree for a dollar. I got two of these. And I keep one in my sink by my kitchen. I keep one by my bathroom. And you just add your hand soap and go like this. And it is shocking how clean it will get underneath your nails. You can even put it in your shower if you will but these are a game changer if you have long nails or you have press-ons acrylics whatever kind of nails just to clean out bacteria and dirt I recommend these again Dollar Tree you can get two of them for one dollar or you can find them on Amazon I'll link them down below but another item you may not know you need it to be using but check it out and then I think lastly is this the last item if you have super dry, 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 chron chronic dry lips, drink more water. That's my first tip. I'm just gonna tell you, drink more water. For so long, I didn't drink a lot of water and I had a lot of digestive issues. All of those cleared up because I started drinking at least eight cups of water a day. My lips would peel profusely. So I had digestive issues and a lot of skin was always coming off my lips. I wasn't drinking enough water and I'm telling you once I started to all those problems went away but I still kind of have dry skin dry lips so this is the probably the world's best lip mask I've ever used in my life and I wanted to mention to you guys it is the Jouer overnight conditioning repairing lip mask this one is so freaking good you can see all my little nail marks because every night I keep this on my nightstand I put the tiniest amount all over my lips and when I wake up in the morning my lips don't feel goopy or gooey but they feel so of course my camera battery died at the very end of the video but this stuff is really amazing um it's a game changer it has a vanilla scent it's great for overnight and repairing your lips i strongly recommend it to you guys so that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching thank you kinsey for sponsoring a portion of today's video if you guys are interested don't forget to check out the ipl handset as well as the two additional attachments so it is great for everything you get a really you just really get a lot out of this don't forget to use code lee50 for 50 dollars off yours and with that being said thank you guys for watching please subscribe before you leave and i'll see you in my next video bye